असलम एंड वेलकम ऑल आई होप दैट यू विल बी हैप्पी एंड एन्जॉइंग अ हेल्दी लाइफ टुडे आई एम हेयर विद आवर टेन ईयर्स ओल्ड मैंगो ट्री विच मोस्ट ऑफ यू लाइक इन माई फर्स्ट वीडियो सो आई थॉट ऑफ शेयरिंग इट्स कम्प्लीट जर्नी विद यू सो लेट स्टार्ट दैन वी बॉट दिस ट्री फॉर अबाउट फोर्टी दरम्स ईयर्स and it was from a local nursery and we were told that uh, it's pakistani mango plant it was uh, about uh, just 3 to 4 feet tall that time and it started fruiting at the age of 5 now from last 5 years it's fruiting every alternate year first time it fruited in winters isn't it amazing and out of excitement that time we picked it raw and uh, that fruit we have shared with all our friends and family okay viewers and now we will talk about its requirements a uh, mango tree likes direct sunlight for at least 6 to 7 hours it loves sandy soil and heavy watering and alhamdulillah it was not attacked by any disease till now and i did not use any chemical fertilizer on it during these 10 years hardly i have fertilized this plant ever uh, but i think that is the reason that its fruit is not as sweet as it should be but still this year it was much better than the previous years in quality and quantity both so this year uh, we have decided to give it a good prune so that uh, with new shoots it can produce better quality fruit next year so here is the last picking from this tree and now it's ready for hard pruning here we go today we have started pruning our mango tree now i will separate all these leaves from the branches and dry them properly even the branches i will dry them and uh, will bring them in use see just one third of the tree is pruned yet and rest of it will be done gradually during the week uh, inshallah even i want to prune this lemon tree uh but that i will do after taking the last picking from here right now you can see lemon here so i will just do it later and then all the leaves can be used to make leaf compost or leaf mold which is extremely balanced and beneficial for fruiting plants see i have already completed a raised bed on this side and now i am preparing on the other side and i'm planning either in this one or in this one i will just fill dried leaves which i will remove from these trees and prepare the leaf mold probably this side will be used to grow wedges because of the good sunlight you can see uh, this is the first advantage of pruning uh, mango tree that this side is exposed to direct sunlight now and second advantage is that we will make the leaf compost out of its leaves and the third advantage will be that after re-sprouting this tree can produce better quality fruit on new branches in coming days gardening is going to be full of activities because it's the season of vegetation so i will try to share all my activities with you inshallah So finally I have separated all the leaves from the branches and spread them here to get sun dried. See here are the branches. I tried to chop them into smaller pieces as much as I could do so that they would get dried faster. Probably we won't be able to use them this year because they take time to get dry, but still we can use them to cover the base of our reports. but the leaves can be dried in a week and can be used uh, uh, to mix with the potting so soil or uh, can be used to make leaf compost okay viewers if you have space issue then you can dry them uh, by keeping them in pots also but in that case you need to keep rotating them every other day so uh, they can be exposed to sunlight equally uh if you don't have leaves then uh, you can ask from a nearby gardener or nursery even if it's not possible for you to get it from a gardener 
uh, you can use a simple potting mix and start producing vegetables it's not a must but it's just the best option um, which is easy and cheap also to improve your soil quality so finally i have stored one third of my dried leaves here in this giant storage box which is given to me by one of my friends who has left the country and the rest of the leaves two third of mango tree is here okay see this pit is filled with those dried and crushed mango leaves see i have crushed them and filled them pressed them in this uh, pit which I specially made for this and whenever I open this I'm just pouring some water in it to make leaf mold if you will keep on adding water in it and keep it covered then uh, it will make it will turn into leaf mold and we can use it approximately after one year and now I will show you the final look of my pruned mango tree you can see now it started re-sprouting also see this within two weeks it has started re-sprouting see along with that i will show you the new sproutings in my uh, lemon tree also see it is sprouting nicely better than the lem uh, mango tree so inshallah they will be at full bloom in next season that's all for today see you next time with another topic with another plant till then stay blessed take care and allah hafiz